Hi, my name is Kate and this is my YouTube channel about knitting and crocheting. In this video I will show you 10 cool, amazing sock patterns. I live in Amsterdam, Netherlands with my husband, with my son, with my dog and with my cat. And currently we have amazing weather, we have very like warm, sunny days here. It's not summer, uh, summer yet, but it feels like summer, summer already. And I don't know, for me it seems like sock knitting become very popular during the summer. I don't know why, did you notice this? I saw a few sock patterns have been released during the last uh, week or so. And I also know about at least two uh, and sock alone, knitting alone, knit alone, sock knit alone, which will happen in July and i'm going to join both of them i hope i hope i will manage to participate in both one uh, hosted by stephen uh, west and uh, it would be a mystery sock alone i know there are some the same idea for shawl which happened during the autumn normally but this one for socks and i think it would be a bit easier because socks are smaller so i feel more confident i can join and also uh, Nitty Nati is hosting uh, Sock Week, so I would like to join to this one as well. Yeah, wish me luck. Uh, this year I challenged myself to need at least 12 uh, pairs of socks and I would like to learn more about sock construction. So each pair I'm knitting, I'm trying to do something new, like trying new custom methods, new uh, techniques for heels and things like this so of course because of this challenge I collected a lot of socks pattern in the beginning of the year and during like last six months and in this video I would like to share with you my 10 favorites I will use my iPad and I will go through the patterns I'm uh, telling you about I will look at these socks and I will like tell you a bit more about the patterns or constructions and things like this and you will see uh, the like, page of this pattern on Raverly here and if you would be curious I don't use a uh, web version of uh, Raverly I will use the app uh, Ra Ravit it's called Ravit I'm not sure Ravit it should be somewhere here the first one I would like to show you it's a uh, weekend uh, shorty socks uh, they are very simple summer socks. It's, des it's designed by Summer Lee. And first of all, I like the colors. And I like that it's like the sock construction here is very simple. But because of the colors, they look, they look amazing. I like, I like the idea. And they also short. So they, you can knit them now and wear them during the summer you can use cotton yarn or something so it would be more appropriate for summer i'll definitely need a pair of uh, this sock for myself and would wear them with skinner sk uh, sneakers and crop jeans uh, so people can see a bit of uh, splash of color here i don't know i think it's amazing pattern and it's uh, free uh, it's it's free available on Raverly, and yeah it's it's very nice i highly recommend this one the next one is a painting brick socks um, by stephen west and i know he has similar design for mittens so if you like the way the socks looks maybe you will be interested in mittens as well so yeah this would be fantastic for using up small leftovers yarns you don't need a lot of uh, like the second color you as always as all the designs by stephen west with socks looks very interesting and they looks unique and unique and they looks like a piece of art uh, so yeah i really would like to need something designed by stephen west because when i see uh, uh, these things made by other knitters or i see it on his instagram it looks like 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 art something um very beautiful and unique the next one, Flying Birds Shorties by, uh, let me check the designer's name, uh, Jolly, Jolly, Joy Lecatelli, uh, Jolly Lecatelli, I hope I pronounced it correctly. And this, this is how my 
perfect my ideal summer socks looks like <laughs> they are short and they are short they are in white color I can easily imagine wearing them with like half of my footwear with half of my wardrobe I don't know maybe it's because my uh, half of my uh, footwear consists of sneakers it's probably yes but yeah doesn't matter <laughs> this so the sock uh, these socks are not boring because they have this delicate pattern and I think it would be interesting to knit them because of this and they are short so they would be quick to make and you can use again you can use cotton yarn for them and uh, wear these socks during the summer yeah I think I will need a pair for myself in uh, white using cotton like the same as you see on this uh, picture from designer I think I think they're perfect and the next one is a free pattern by Pearl Soho called pixel stitch socks I like the idea very much and I definitely need uh, will need one uh, at least one pair of socks like this these socks are knitted toy up and to be honest this construction scares me I borrowed a book from my friend 22 weeks of socks and there are a lot of socks which are knitted like toy up and because it's a book I don't know they are not very detailed instruction about how to knit socks from like this way so i like li like some of designs from this book but i uh, like this when i see it the socks done like toe up i it's stopping me it's like i'm like yeah okay i need to try using the pattern with very detailed detailed explanation about how to do so to be sure <laughs> i will definitely like i will manage to knit these socks and i think this is a pattern I will use for, to learn how to make socks like this. Um, yeah, so I think you will see these socks in my next videos. I think this pixel stitch pattern is very easy to knit and I think it's it looks very interesting and I also think it can be applied while knitting socks from the top down. It's, I, I think it would work like the construction here is interesting for me but it's not necessary to make it this way uh, and I think it would be it will work well for using your yarn leftovers if you have some you can combine them and knit with socks as a someone as someone who be, have been crocheting for many years I can help but add some crochet sock, socks pattern because I know many people think it's not possible to crochet socks it's a myth it's not true it's possible to crochet socks and you can make them look very nice and they can be like very well fitted so i highly recommend you to try if you like crocheting and i have i have one pattern for you the pattern called uh, the perfect pair of crochet socks and i think they're relatively easy and they would be like quick to crochet and yeah making these socks a great option to uh, for this who would like to learn how to crochet socks and yeah important note here the pattern uses us crochet terminology and if you're a crocheter you know there are like different ways to describe the same thing and it could be confusing so be careful with it yeah but it's like very simple I think it would be very simple to crochet so highly recommend you to try and the next pattern has very winter vibes I would say but <laughs> I don't know I love the socks and I um, can't uh, just I have to include them to this list because they are definitely in my top so pattern called high Hi hibernal socks by uh, i think the designer is summer lee let me check yes i love wearing such long socks in winter with high boots uh, or just around the house and feel myself very cozy and very warm and i don't know it's just giving me this warm cozy feeling that's just by looking at them uh, maybe it's not exactly what you want during the summer days but 
yeah, I don't know. It it should be in this list. <laughs> I can't I can't help help myself. I also really like the pattern on these socks. I've never knitted anything similar before. I like not on the socks, not on the sweater, but I I would like to give it a try. I for some reason I feel like it won't be difficult to memorize the sequences of stitches for this pattern. It should be like it wouldn't be super easy. I don't think it would be mindless, but it would be easy enough and in very entertain entertainment entertainment. So I think it would be fun to knit. So yeah, love with socks. I would use um, there is socked wheat by uh, Lana Grossa. I think it would be a perfect yarn for this. Let me check. Yeah, and designer use uh, knit knit picks uh, strolled wheat here so yeah i think tweet would be tweet looks so nice and so cozy in this pattern in this design four patterns in one how cool is that i love it uh, and uh, here here hello sailor sock set by summer lee it's not a an <laughs> it's not a sponsored by summer lee anyhow uh, i would like to i would love to <laughs> but no unfortunately no i just love her sock designs and um, yeah here the pattern contains four different sock designs and i like them all i love that the designer choose uh, such a vibrant summer summer colors for these socks and i don't know i want to say they look delicious i don't know is it okay to say what color look delicious yeah i also appreciate what the design of these socks it, um, for all four pairs the design is very minimalist and at the same time it's not boring it's not too simple so it would be again it would be interesting to knit it's not your vanilla sock which you need mindlessly you need to think a bit you need to learn new technique i like that here and they look very stylish i don't know these pink ones this orange yeah, just pure love. There is nothing wrong with vanilla socks. Uh, I call vanilla socks, it's... Um, by vanilla socks, I mean socks which you are knitting mindlessly and you use like your favorite technique to cast on for the heel and for everything else. I don't think there is like something wrong with this way of knitting socks and I love it. And I definitely use it, especially during the summer when you go on vacation and you knit on the road. It's perfect. Nothing wrong with it. I just looking for some entertainment sometimes when I need my socks. Not all the times, but sometimes, yes, definitely. I would like to learn something new. And the next one, Little Dot Socks. Uh, the designer is again summerly. I don't know <laughs> how it happened. Um, yeah, they are so cute. Just look at them. I don't know. This, uh, this, these are fun polka dot socks. And uh, they are very simple. And the color combination are endless. And very interesting and fun. And again, I think for, like, for dots, for contrast color, you can use some leftovers. You don't need probably a lot of this uh, yarn yeah i don't know i think they look very stylish and i can imagine wearing them with my sneakers again so very very they would be perfect for my wardrobe and for me like love them <laughs> And I have an idea to knit slippers like this and make a gift for my grandma. I don't know, I think she would be happy to receive uh, sli uh, slippers from me, finally, after all this year, her knitting for all of us. I, I don't know, I hope it would be cute. And yeah, uh, uh, about these slippers. So they are knitted with thick yarn and I think, I think they can be can be done very quickly and I also think they would be very soft and very warm and very comfortable to wear around the house they are not to wear with boots but yeah it's slippers it's not socks exactly um, yeah so I'm thinking about I think to need this one for my grandma what do you think do you think it's a cute gift for someone who was doing a lot of slippers to get something like this or she or do you think she probably made so many of them she 
doesn't want to get one more. Next one, uh, square me up socks. Just look at how beautiful they are. I I don't know, I'm thrilled with this pattern. Uh, note that the socks are different. And that means the so second sock will be just as excited to knit as the first one. No second sock syndrome, yay. <laughs> I, I don't know, I think it's even more fun because it involves playing these colors and both socks look like a pair even though they are like different and the design of them are different. They kind of complement each other. I don't know, I love the idea and I love uh, how the realization of this idea, I also love it. I really want to make this for myself, but I'm honestly, I'm afraid I won't be able to handle it because uh, there are a lot of color work. Probably, I don't know, maybe I should try. What do you think? I'm curious which of these patterns you like the most, which one of them you will need on crochet. Uh, have you tried to crochet socks? Will you try to crochet socks? I would love to knit all of them. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have enough time, but maybe at some point I will knit all of these uh, socks. Uh, I am considering to cast on the toe up uh, socks by Pearl Soho. Uh, this probably would be my next project. I will show you which one I decided to knit next in one of my future episodes of my knitting podcast. But for now, that's it. And it was very nice to chat with you. Thank you for watching this video. Happy knitting, happy crocheting.